Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your weekly gaming overlook, the 21st of May 2012. With the gamer scene, I'm your host Sonicateer. Let's head straight in with the news. First up, what's been happening recently this week? Battlefield has announced that they might be having an equivalent of Call of Duty Elite. That kind of system with weapons and all sorts of items being released when they have their Battlefield games. And there have also been rumours of a 2013 March release for the next game in the Battlefield series. Also, Just Cause 4, the rights for that game, have been snapped up by the developers over there. Despite the fact that there is no Just Cause 3 yet, the rights for 4 have already been snapped up. So we're looking for another two games in that series, and I personally enjoyed that series. So uh, looking forward to those two. Should be quite interesting. And finally, Max Payne 3 has beaten Di Diablo 3 in the sales in UK. The Battles of the Freeze has been won by Max Payne. There's been a bit of... Um, Problems with Diablo 3, bugs, and it not going down as well as it hoped. So Max Payne 3 has come out on top in that little battle there. What have we got coming up for games on your gaming consoles and your PCs this week? Well, first up on Tuesday, Tom Clancy, Ghost Recon, Future Soldier, hitting PlayStation 3 and Xbox. I wish I could get my hands on that. I brought a box set of like five Tom Clancy games recently and... Uh, been waiting to get my hands on them, so I uh, can't wait to have a go on Ghost, Re Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Should be interesting. On PC, EVE Online Inferno. Uh, also, got Men in Black, Alien Crisis, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Wii and 3DS. Whilst movie films are generally a pretty crap genre, uh, Men in Black's an awesome film, so I might just have a look just for, the, just for laughs. Uh, get that on my Wii, maybe. Have a go on that. What else we got? Modern Warfare 3 Collection 2 is coming out Xbox 360. We have in that Sanctuary, Foundation, the new maps Lookout and Getaway, and also the Spec Op missions Kill Switch and Ironclad. Back onto games again, Alan Wake's American Nightmare on PC. Some more Alan Wake for those of you who enjoyed that sort of novelly, gamey, boring, not boring, novelly, gamey sort of thing. That's, there's more of you coming out on PC. We also have Sorcery for PlayStation 3, uh, a PlayStation Move game, if you've got PlayStation Move and you don't want Connect for some bizarre reason, a Sorcery game with some Irish mythology uh, t intertwined, so uh, if you want some Irish leprechauns, you can check that one out, that's, that's the end of my Irish accent. Um, also, Dragon's Dogma, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, we got some... All, all of you fans of slashy, bloody, gore, horror RPGs, you can have some of that. And finally on Tuesday, always the big day, Tuesday, great fun, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3D for all you 3DS owners. Just in case you want to have the thrill and the puke of roller coasters right in your living room. Next we move on to Wednesday and it's the Hunger Games Adventures for PC coming out on Wednesday based on the film... If you enjoyed the film, you might like the game, but as I said, for Black Men in Black, movie films aren't great, so you might want to just stick to your liking of the film and leave that one be. Also Wednesday, Joyride Turbo for Xbox 360. Moving on to Thursday, Dirt Showdown comes out on PC. I've been looking forward to this game, played the demo, tried to record it, failed miserably, as you might well be aware, but I've been looking forward to this game. It looks like good fun. It's the same sort of thing as the other three Dirt games, but it looks like good fun. And I managed to play it on my PC recently, so of course that that, get, that gives it points from me. Uh, that's all for Thursday. Last up, Friday, Iron Front Liberation 1944, also out on PC. So if you want some World War II sort of action, not totally sure on the details of the game, but World War II sort of action is that sort of era. So you could check that out. What's going to be big this week for me? Well, Tom Clancy, Ghost Recon, Future Soldier, of course. Even if you can't say the name, should be quite good. Um, Tom Clancy's always quite a specific game. There's a bit of there's a bit of stealth in there, mixed with guns and actions and that sort of thing. And so, Future Soldier, add a bit of future in there, should be quite good. And I certainly want to have a look. Modern Warfare 3 Collection 2, I can imagine that's selling well for everybody who doesn't have Call of Duty Elite because, you know, Modern Warfare sells like hotcakes even if it was made out of crap. No, the game, I've looked at some of the maps and some of them look quite interesting. There's some face-off maps, the Lookout and Getaway face-off maps, and that's just one-on-one. -on -one. So if you want to have a bit of that, then definitely check that out. 
should be quite interesting. And, well, I don't play EVE online, but I've heard there's a big following for that, so that one on PC also could go down quite well with a lot of people who follow that series, because I know there's definitely a lot of people who follow that. Uh, what went down well last week? Well, if you missed last week and you haven't been bothered to check out the video, I can tell you what you should have a look at and what you probably shouldn't have a look at from next, from last week's games. We have Max Payne 3, as I said earlier, Max Payne 3 outsold Diablo 3. So it looks like it's a pretty impressive game. Critics and users alike are scoring this high. So if you like guns, you like Max Payne 1 or you like Max Payne 2, or you're just looking for a general game for last week to buy, give Max Payne 3 a go. Also, Diablo 3 is a bit of a mixed ball, this one. I can honestly say I could not tell whether to advise you to get it or whether to advise you to leave it alone. Critics have been saying yes, but then the public themselves have been going it's either 0 or 10. So you're either going to think that you're going to hate the game or you're going to think it's perfect. And I can't help but think that the people who don't like it are the people who don't like that sort of game. And the people who give it 10 are the people who play that sort of game, like World at War on a 24 hour 7 basis, they're going to of course love the game because they like anything that involves them not leaving their computer chair. But still, you might want to check it out just to see if you're whether you're in the 10 category and if not you're in the 0 category, sell it and you might get some uh, good game back rate, good game back monies from that one. What else was released last week? Game of Thrones. Now I'm hoping to release a review of that this week, I believe, yeah, this week. And I can honestly say, do not even go near this game with a six foot barge pole. This game is atrocious. I've played it and it's like a really, really bad Skyrim ripoff where they decided everything good about Skyrim and Lord of the Rings, they would take and try and make as bad as possible. It is really not a fun game to play in any shape or form. I didn't enjoy it. I quit very easily. I quit very quickly, just enough to get some gameplay. But I wouldn't advise bothering unless you really, really, really fanboy over the film, of the TV series or the novels, then I would advise leave this alone. You're better off in a Skyrim, even a Skyrim mod or something like that. You'd be much better off. Anyway, if you've been watching the video, you'll have noticed that there's been some Sims 3 gameplay up. Mainly because I haven't really been near my computer at all this weekend. My gay girlfriend came over and I said I'm going to need to record something and I offered her to play The Sims and that was a really bad idea because I haven't seen my computer since. She's kind of been hogging it but no, this is this is her playing, running a family household I believe. I couldn't tell you, I fell asleep halfway through. Um, she's So she's been playing on that while she's been here and well that might explain a bit of the lateness of the video because I haven't really been near my computer screen. No, I won't, I won't blame her for that, she might kill me if I do that. Anyway, if you like the video, hit the like button below. If you have any thoughts on this week's gaming or anything you got bought from last week, next week, anytime, anywhere, or anything of games whatsoever, hit the comment section below. And if you want to have the latest games and video news straight to your YouTube homepage, make sure you hit the subscribe button and you'll get all the videos from me straight up on there. Anyway, that's me done. That's Connor out.